particles do or die. Don't come up with excuses, <laughs> just get shit done. Well, everyone's got the same 24 hours in the day. You can't sleep faster, I say sleep less. So stop making the excuses and start making solutions. Regardless of what you're doing, never give up. There's one thing worse than carrying on, and that's giving up. Life, life is just worth living. Don't look too deeply into the word fear, or rather just look at it head on, give it that mod and go for it. People come up with the excuses all the time. Um, I, I don't have time for gym. I, you know, if only I had the time to prep my meals, if only I had the time I could look like you. Well, everyone's got the same 24 hours in the day, and it's just how you utilize them. If, if you only sleep for six hours, sleep faster. But you can't sleep faster, I say sleep less. If you need to have that done, you will get it done. You'd wake up earlier. You'd go to the gym for, you know, that one hour instead of sitting in bed. Managing that time and utilizing it. I try and at least dedicate two to three hours um, for sleep, rest and recovery. Um, a lot of people say that's absolute madness. You, you can't function off of that. I'm living proof you can. Don't come up with excuses, <laughs> just get shit done. You know, be stronger than your weakest excuse and get shit done. The more excuses you make, the less probability of getting that task done. So stop making the excuses and start making solutions. Stop finding an exit strategy and find a solution, find an entrance strategy into solving that problem, that puzzle put in front of you. Anything in life worth doing is worth overdoing because moderation is for cowards. Don't be mediocre. Always be that extreme, the elite. Push yourself, keep moving forward. Impossible is a word that I, I choose to ignore because nothing is impossible. So you just set those goals out in front of you and just go and smash them. Success is what you make of it, um, of, of your own life. You, you create your own success. You have to be the master of your own destiny. Um, you know, the captain of your own ship. Without pushing yourself, creating the time, overcoming those battles, all the words that you've thrown in, you're never going to be successful because you keep making excuses. So stop making excuses and get shit done. My biggest fear is being the same as everyone else. You don't want to be governed by your fears. My name is Wesley Grant. Um, people call me Big Granty. Um, originally from South Africa, born and bred there. Spent most of my time there as a teenager, growing up into my mid twenties, and I moved over to the UK with the ambitions of becoming a Royal Marine. Opportunity was presented to me by a recruiting team that came over to South Africa. I took that as another challenge and I thought, well, oh, that would be a great, you know, sort of string to my bow to, to, to add to my life sort of accomplishments and goals. And I've always wanted to be a military man. So knowing that coming over to England um, to join the Royal Marines, the best fighting force in the world, and the longest and hardest NATO training in the world, was that challenge that I decided to accept and embark upon. Um, in the process of doing that, I made a promise to myself. Um, as you say, it's coming over. Um, I had, I sold everything off. One bag on my back with some clothing items in and a hundred pounds in my pocket. Came over to the UK knowing that my goal and my only goal was to join the Royal Marines. And I came over with the intention on doing it and there was no, no point of return for me. I had no exit strategy, no return ticket, no get out of jail free card. It was do or die. And that I think is what led me to pursue the career that I did and to adapt that state of mind that I did and the mental attitude which 
was then doubled, if not tripled, um, along the way within my military career. So embarking along that journey, I think, was the best thing that I could have ever done. A lot of people ask me why I always choose the most difficult route, and I tend to ask them the question, why do you always assume I see two routes? There's only one route for me, and that's the hard route, the route that I choose, the route that I am going to succeed in. There's only one end, end goal and outcome for me, and that's all the way or nothing at all. Everyone is naturally programmed to fear the loss of their own life, um, the loss of experiencing a traumatic experience like being shot, being blown up, being set on fire, for example. Dealing with fear is, is down to the individual. Um, I tackle them straight on and almost use it to my advantage. Um, at first, suppressing it, hiding it. Um, that's pretty much the go-to answer for, for everyone. Um, you, know, you don't want to be seen as the weak character, as the person that's suffering from PTSD or um, is fearful of, of anything, afraid of heights or whatever it may be. After I'd been caught in the fire, um, I was pretty fearful of fire. In fact, to the degree that I couldn't even stand near a barbecue. Um, I couldn't be around on Guy Fox night. Um, it's, it, it's just one of those things that I sort of stepped back and away from, I shied away from, and that was my fear. Dealing with it was the next stage. Questioning, well, why is he not standing around the barbecue, or why is he over there when everyone's facing the fireworks that side? Um, so it's, uh, it, it, it's the way that you deal with it, um, you confront that fear. And the way I've confronted it is by hitting it head on, by utilizing whatever it was I was fearful of and turning it totally around and just taking full advantage of the situation by putting myself in that situation again. Um, it's not like I'm gonna go and run into a fire and set myself alight again, but what it was was becoming a firefighter where I'd have to now um, you know, take on the dangers, putting myself, exposing myself to dangers to help other people out that may be in danger themselves. And it's that fear that's led me to now use it as a positive to help other people that could be fearing fire themselves. The biggest thing I could have learned from the military was controlling your mind and the state of mind that you're in. So um, every situation that anyone goes through um, will have a negative impact on you. So whether it be from loss of a family member to a car accident to being diagnosed with a disease or an incurable um, you know, ailment, the way you deal with that is obviously dictated by your state of mind. So you can either you know, just accept it and um, yeah, t take it for what it is, let it get the better of you and pretty much eat you away and you, you know, you're not going to experience um, life to the fullest. Uh, you, you're obviously just going to let it get the better of you. Whereas I think it's instilled in me to take that and turn it into a positive. Find a solution, find a, a way of overcoming it. Um, I almost take it as a challenge. I'm very competitive, so any, any challenge presented in front of me, I would hit full on, from the front, and let's go for it. So I'll take everything, um, use the state of mind that I've learned to adapt um, over the years within the military as a positive state of mind, and 
push myself to overcoming whatever it is. Um, those demons that is what you have to overcome. Now everyone's got demons um, and it's how we deal with them, which, you know, is, is the ultimate result. At first, uh, people said to me, why was I drinking? Um, and that was to drown my demons. Um, eventually, my demons learned how to swim and the drink wasn't carrying that. So uh, I had to find something else. And um, I've used gym uh, as, as, as my release. And I find that's my therapy um, to, yeah, to chase out the demons. Um, and, and again, it's, it's that mindset to, to take any negative and turn it into a positive. If somebody wanted to be a Royal Marines Commando, in terms of their character or their mindset, what were some of the attributes they would need to have? I'd say the strongest attribute that you would need is the mindset of a warrior, of an absolute lion, um, the toughest of the tough. And it's, it's only because your mind is what is going to carry you through. It is the strongest muscle in your body. You could take Marines put them side by side, not all of them look like me. We had some, you know, of my best friends, half my size, half my weight, half my height, and the exact same capabilities at the end of it. We passed the exact same testing. So um, the standards never dropped. There was always a set criteria that you had to meet. And regardless of who they were or their physical um, look or shape, it was their mind that got them to that end goal. You, you've all just got to get through it. Uh, it, it it's, yeah, it's your mindset that takes you to that, that next level or that criteria that you have to meet. I think the body is what you make it. Um, you can always train to become an ultramarathon runner. You could train to become a strongman competitor and lifter or power lifter. You could train to become the fastest swimmer. But your mind is the strongest part of your body because it's something that is forever developing. And if you don't take control of it, it could make or break you within an instant. It's got the ability to bring the strongest men to their knees. Um, and it's got the ability to lift the weakest person to the heights of you know, the highest towers. So it's, it, it's something that you've really got to, to use to your advantage. Um, being the strongest muscle, utilize it, make it your friend, use it to the best of your ability, to what you can, uh, for whatever goals are set out in front of you, to whatever obstacles are set out in front of you. And like I've always said, overcoming things, um, it's just down to the state of mind that you've, you've got and that you persevere and push through, um, whether it be a sticky situation or you know, a great one. Everything that you do in life, make time for. Um, whether it be for your kids, for your passion, for progression, studies, for whatever it is. You need to just make that time. Stop making excuses, make the time for it. I live by the saying that I'm always the hardest worker in the room. The harder work you put in, bigger the rewards, you know, it's, um, again, the further up the tree you climb, the sweeter the, the, the fruits that bear. Going through tours of Afghanistan, you know, seeing things that we did, experiencing things that normal people shouldn't have to experience, um, created demons and everyone has a certain level of acceptance of those demons and it doesn't necessarily have to be you know, the military side of things, it could be any situation uh, as I previously mentioned again um, from illnesses to uh, losses to any situation, um, everyone has their own story and within that story, there's positives and negatives, goods and bads. 
and from the birds, there are those demons, and I like to obviously refer to them as demons. It's those negative setbacks, the, um, the stuff which is holding you back, the stuff which is cramping your style, which is preventing you from progressing or, or moving forward. Those demons are dealt with um, in different man manners and, and, and there's different ways and mechanisms that we use you know, to, to, to overcome them. Like I had said, I, I drank, uh, they learned how to swim, and I had to find an alternative. Some people turn to drugs, some people turn to fitness, some people um, just talk about it. Some people go the other way and don't talk about it. Um, and, and everyone's got their own way of dealing with it. Now, if you don't progress, that's when the issues start happening um, and the mental illness side of things come into effect. Um, I'm a big advocate on that. Um, I lost my sister to mental illness and um, it's something that I support and, and I really um, don't turn a blind eye to. Uh, people suffer from PTSD and it's, it's a blase taboo subject initially. Um, until you know someone that is actually suffering from these things. And PTSD doesn't necessarily have to be from military experience. It could be from any traumatic experience that you're exposed to. And if you don't talk about it, those demons build up and eventually they could consume your life and consume you. Stand by those people to let them know that they're not alone. Um, it's something that's hit home for me and something I hold close to my heart too. I've, I've always been a big advocate of saying never give up, um, regardless of what you're doing, never give up. So there's one thing worse than carrying on, and that's giving up. So if you do give up, that's it, you've got no, no comebacks to that. Um, I always say keep moving, um, if I stop moving, I think that's when I'll fade away and, and break, fall by the wayside and absolutely crumble. Um, I'll have to have purpose for my day. and. Whatever the purpose is, whether it's be to be a better, better father, whether it's to walk taller, um, walk that extra bit further, be prouder, dress smarter, um, train harder, lift heavier. It's keep moving, keep doing that, keep pushing yourself forward the whole time. Life, life is just worth living. It's, it's worth being there. It's experiencing things, uh, pushing yourself, um, just being, just being, yeah.